Imagine buying old magic booster packs and opening them. What is up, you circus freaks? Just kidding, I love you. But today we're gonna open some old magic packs because I love opening old magic packs. In this video, I have a pack of Dissension. Oh, mama. A mystery booster, which uh, can contain some reprints of old cards. That's why I added it. But it's not technically an old pack. We have a Chinese Torment booster pack. Then we have a Planar Chaos pack. Hubba hubba. Then we have a Japanese Prophecy pack. A Saviors of Kamigawa pack. And last but not least, Apocalypse. Let's go. So let's start off with this first dice dissension or dice dissension dissension. <laughs> All right. So um, both dissension and uh, Kamigawa were around when I collected magic as a kid. I was it was around the unhinged Ravnica era that I collected, and um, at that time we also had a lot of scourge. Hence my previous video of the scourge fat pack. But let's see if we can pull some Liddy, Liddy cards from uh, these older packs. From the Sanjis. Let, let's see if I can recognize... Oh. Let's see if I can recognize some of them from back in the day. So it's a Simic Ragworm. Anthropic Eidolon. Oh, it was just the first card, luckily. Uh, Anthropic Eidolon. Cackling Flames. That's like Ragdos, right? Yeah. Uh, Ragdos Signet. Hmm, pretty cool. Um, Aurora Eidolon. Ooh, very peaceful. Ooh, we have the Azorius Chancery. Nice church. Did you go to church today? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Vigian Hydropon, a plant mutant. Nice. Uh, we have the Nettling Curse. Send this to your friends to totally nettle them. All right. We have the Beacon Hawk. It's just a bird. We have Overrule with a nice big guy in the middle, like it. Still comments, yeah. Udvara Scalper, which is a flying goblin. But he has to attack, the poor guy. Uh, Flash Foliage with the Saprolings. Oh, we, we are at the uncommons now, alright, let's go. Uh, Leaf Drake Roost. Uh, Court Hussar. Hussar. And then for our rare, I believe. Ooh, we have a double double threat. We have odds and ends, baby. He is indeed very odd. So to be completely honest, I didn't recognize a single card from that pack. Except for the Signet, I guess. So, next up, we have a mystery booster, baby. Uh, let's pull um, something. Let's pull a Black Lotus. Huh? All right, um, is the uncommon supposed to be on the top? Uh, we have a wing shards. We have a humble. Through failure, we learn our finest lessons in humility. Oh yeah, now it's come. Wait, and that was a, oh, so it's like an uncommon and in commons, okay. Glint, uh, our Archaeomancer. First Sphere Gargantua. Tavern Swindler, hubba hubba. We have the Foundry Street Denizen, a goblin, cool. Lightning Talons, uh huh. Ooh, Sepperling Migration, another Sepperling card. Uh, re, re, regrowth. Uh, Vengeful Rebirth. Orzov Basilica, ooh, Orzov, nice, bro, nice church. Uh, recoup. Sick, I recognize that's from somewhere. Ooh, and then release the gremlins, baby. And then we have a foil I saw. Ooh, Ogre Gate Crasher, baby. He's crashing those gates. Binchiling. We have a Chinese Torment pack. Last time I opened a Torment pack um, was an English one. And I pulled a foil and a Cabal Ritual. Which is like a... Decently priced um, common, which was really nice. 
Let's, maybe we can pull a, a Chinese cabal ritual from this. But I see we have the uncommon. So I think that's one, two, three, and a four. And then we are at the commons, right? Hot diggity damn! Look at that. First card, cabal ritual. Now I have a play set because I already had two uh, Chinese ones. Then I pulled an English one and here's another uh, Chinese one. We are doing very well, boys. Let's put that to the side. We have this uh, very charming uh, squirrel fella. Oh, nice. A lot of black cards. I love it. We have um, some uninvited dinner guests. Uh, we have a woman and a bird. Uh, we have a bird woman, right? Uh, we have a guy or two guys. We have a hammer being forged. Oh, and another black dude. Uh, he's gonna steal his soul. Uh, Nantu a Nantuko thing, I think. We have a very um, verdant uh, 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 um, woman. We have a basilisk or a little lizard. We have a little lizard, little, little lizard. That's my uh, rapper name, little lizard. Um, we have, I think this is like in, uh, Inferno or something. That's what the point of the mask is. Ooh, another black card, really nice. Nice, I love the black cards, bros. And then as a rare, ooh, that's very interesting because from the English pack, I also got this as the rare. With some nice uh, little um, cephalids on the artwork. So, next up, we have the Hubba Bubba pack. We have Planar Chaos. Uh, Poultice Sliver, for all you Sliver fans. We have the giant dust wasp, very dusty. We have dead and gone, which is my uh, financial status after buying all these packs. Dreamscape artist, ooh, that's a pretty cool artwork. He's mastered the art of slide of land. <laughs> okay, a rich cussite, cussite, little uh, little gremlin fella. Sitinal wood readers, they're reading their wood. Fire Fright Mage, uh, Pallet Mycoderm. Oh, yeah, see this one. I like the, the weird colors on the border and stuff. A Melancholy. Ooh, Simeon Spirit Guide, little gorilla fella. We have Fad Fadija Seer. Ooh, a dormant sliver. It doesn't look very dormant. Uh, mantle of Leadership. Ooh, and then we have the Shivan Wampus. We Wampusing tonight, boys. Really liking these cards so far, boys. I like them. I like old cards. We have the Japanese Prophecy Pack. Let's see what our prophecy is for today. And mostly the, the Chinese and the um, Japanese cards. Are um, oh, are like for my collection mostly, unless it's a card that I really know very well, and I like Cabal Ritual. I know what Cabal Ritual does, right? So sometimes I use those index. But let's see, we have a confused man. Ooh, isn't that um, that's Rhystic Studies, right? Damn, I have to put that to the side. Uh, and this is wrist, yeah, wristic, um, whatever, because I know this is wristic. So I, I know what the, that's the wristic card. That's really cool. Um, we have a mole cricket or a spider. Ooh, that's a, that's a snake. Don't know why I was so excited about a snake. Oh, that's a snake. Uh, we have this guy with two swords. He's dual wielding. We have a card uh, of Greel. I forgot what he's uh, doing there, but it doesn't seem very pleasant. We have a chromium cat or something. Uh, the spoil, I think, because I have that in foil in English. Uh, another rustic. Wow, we've got a lot of rustic cards. That's funny. Um, uh, some kind of little dragon dude. Okay, we have the uncommons boys. We have the pit raptor. I know this one. Uh, we have like a taskmaster or something. We have a little little spirit dude, and for our rare, we have a big fat. We have a worm with six five baby. 
You know what it is. So for our final two packs, boys, we've been going through it so fast, but I've really been enjoying it because I love old packs. Said that like five times now. I love old packs. Another set that was around when I collected Magic as a kid, Saviors of Kamigawa. Or basically the whole Kamigawa block was around when I was a kid, but you know what I mean. And this one is like tightly sealed. Oh, damn. Will save the apocalypse for last. But here's Saviors of Kamigawa. Let's go. Tori Watchguard. Oh, hell yeah. Shinin of Fury's Fire. He has haste. The Moonbow Illusionist. Moonfolk Wizard. Shinin of Life's Roar. Damn. Kagemaro's Clutch. He's being clutched. He's coming in clutch. Ooh, another Shinin. A lot of the, the same kind of cards, right? Uh, plow Through Reto. Uh, it's a sweep card. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but... Oh, 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 did you see that? Nice card trick. Ronin Ca Cave Keeper. Cut the early bond. Earthly bond. Cut your earthly bond, boy. Sakura Tribe Scout with the Snitties. Uh, we have Kuro Steak and really cool Rat Samurai. Well, I like that artwork. I knew I knew this card. Uh, oh, that's the that's so that's yeah. This is the uncommons Razor Jaw Oni. Damn. I'm sorry, dude. Presence of the Wise. Oni of Wild Places. He's going places. He's going places. Ooh, and then we have Ayumi, the last visitor with legendary landwalk. Not just any landwalk, legendary landwalk. All right, guys, last pack. Apocalypse. 15 additional cards. The pack I save for last has to have something good, right? That's why I saved it for last. I do know that Apocalypse has a lot of uh, really cool common cards that I personally like, like the, um, the two colored uh, uh, the two colored creatures in the common slots in this set are really cool. Urborg Uprising. Look at that dude. All right. Soul Link. That's Urza, right? Ooh, Urborg Elf, really cool. Coastal Drake. Call him on my cell phone. Consume Strength, really cool art, Adam Rex. Kavu Glider, multicolored card. I love multicolored cards. That's my favorite mechanic in this whole game, like two color or multicolored stuff. Bognar, Jaded Response, oh. Dwarven Landslide, The Standard Bearer, Bearer. Oh, that's uh, so we're at the uncommons now. Ooh, we are at the uncommon. So that means, yeah, we have a foil. Uh, Kavu Howler. Evasive Action. Ooh. Nice art on this one. Aether Mutation. And then I think this is our rare, right? Ooh, Whirlpool. Whir Whirlpool Warrior. Nice. And then for our final card. Ooh, a multicolored. Ooh, Goblin Legionnaire. So this is one of those uh, commons I was talking about, like these two colored uh, common creatures. Hot damn, a pack fresh Goblin Legionnaire. How about that, boy? How about that? These people are like, what is he doing here? All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. Please remember to subscribe and leave a thumbs up, maybe even a comment if you want and i'll see you in the next episode of i don't know what but i'll see you there greetings from the goblin legionnaire i'm gonna join the army goodbye ristic studies hell yeah